Dear Jared, I can't express enough how beautiful God has orchestrated our relationship. The fact that I made it to Columbus, met Brianna, then met you is a chain of events that couldn't possibly be coincident. So one day, I was sitting on the couch with Carrie, Nicole's mom, and I was telling her about this guy that I wanted to set Nicole up with. And she looked at me and she said, Brie, you just have to do it. So I decided to take matters into my own hands that night. And I texted Jared. I found your future wife. I really did. And after I told him her name, he looked her up online and this was his response. Your friend is really cute and her obsession with horses is really cool. I promise to always try to be mushy and lovey-dovey with you. I promise to work through the things that are hard simply because I know it will help us grow together. I will never stop trying for you, not at my lowest or my highest. You build me up and show me how to be my best self. You will forever be the love of my life. Have fun because you're about to enter into the greatest adventure of your life. I can say that there is no greater feeling than watching your best friend find her person. And to have a little part in that will always be really special to me. Have fun in the joys and in the pain of life. Have fun discovering the unique and creative ways that you can love and serve one another. I've had this feeling ever since I met you that there was something different about you. I met you when I had lots of intensity. I have no idea how I didn't scare you. You were selfless from day one. Remember the canoeing thing, <laughs> or kayaking thing. Jared, will you take Nicole to be your wedded wife? To live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself only to her as long as you both shall live? I promise to hold you when you feel you've lost your way or life has just beat you down. I promise to be your rock when you get anxious and I promise to share excitement with you and all of your achievements. <laughs> There's a lot of history in the, in the table. All the wood in the, in the table itself is family. The Chirola family and the Shark family have become one and and hope that it just ties everybody together. One of the most important promises is I promise to grow in my faith with you. You have opened my eyes and shown me how I can approach God in a way I never thought possible. When you said I was beautiful, I think I really truly believed it for the first time. That's when I knew. When I knew I couldn't go another moment without you, that's when I knew. You were undoubtedly my personal gift from God himself. <clears throat> without you, I would still be lost and I am thankful every day because he has spoken to me through you. Have fun establishing new traditions, taking in new experiences, and making new memories together. Show me the love of Jesus himself. And because of the blessing that you are, I promise to love you forever and always the extra most best. <laughs> I promise to be patient and kind with you. I promise to protect you mentally and physically. I promise to be your best friend in love. I promise to see you always for who you are and never try to change you. <laughs> I was getting a little blurry. <laughs> I 
I'm excited to be here with you both today. And I, I wouldn't trade today, our friendship, the future for anything. You guys are going to have many years to prosper, many years to be with each other, many years to love. I promise to keep adventuring, exploring, and learning with you. I will always stay by your side when venturing into unknown territory. We will accomplish anything we choose when working together. I love who you are. You are kind, selfless, sweet, and funny. I love your wisdom, and you always offer to see the other side and look at things deeper. And for that, I'm very thankful for. And Nicole, will you take Jared to be your wedded husband? To live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony, will you love him, comfort him, honor him, keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping yourself unto him as long as you both shall live? I promise to cherish you in all the moments we have together. I promise to love you unconditionally, and I promise to give you my all. Look at us now. Enjoy the journey, trust the process, always put God first, love one another, honor one another, and most of all, have fun.